It was amazing. I kited three times and I kited a right hander that is quite rare for me because everywhere else I go in the world seems to be left handers. So it was good to kite a right hander and although it's in Australia I feel like I'm like in Fiji or some tropical location and it's cool because it's just like right on our doorstep. What makes this place so incredible is that it's just out of reach in terms of the distance that you've got to go. So it's, it's uncrowded, there's not much pressure on it. And it really is, you know, like a fair bit of extra effort to come on a trip like this because just getting out to our first spot today, we traveled 35 miles and that was after we'd traveled five hours in the car. It's all good to sort of be sitting here and, you know, like nothing's happened, but the preparation and what it takes to get here is, it's big time, you know, like there's a, there's a lot of things that you sort of all, that you need to play out in your favor to make it all happen. We're out in the middle of nowhere. If we sink right now, nobody's coming to get us. And that's real. You've, you've got to be prepared. You've got to know what you're doing. Especially when we're dealing with wind, which is obviously one of the big things we're chasing. You want to make sure that you can put yourself in a situation where you're safe, no matter what happens. So, you know, that was a big part of our planning for today. One of the best things today was when we rocked up at that break and there's a turtle swimming around our boat while we're just checking out the waves and it was like coming up and checking us out and then Stu stuck the GoPro in the water and actually came up to the GoPro to see what was going on and then I was like, okay, I've got to jump in the water and, and see if this thing's going to swim with me. I dived in the water with the GoPro and it swum alongside me for about five metres. It was, it was awesome. Get a little close. On these adventures, there's always stuff that happens. There's always a good story that goes with them. And within two hours of being here today... First kite, it's on. I took Tom, the cameraman, out with my kite while he was videoing me with a real close pass by. And the kite actually hit him and flung his camera and his phone out of his hands into the water and we lost everything. And I put a hole in my kite and then my kite got wrapped around the fishing rods and there was a whole ordeal.
After it was all said and done, we went diving to look for his phone and his camera and we found part of it but you know obviously it was destroyed by the salt water but we did get the cards out so we're hoping we get some footage. Last night we pretty much found like probably one of the best anchorages in this really cool little lagoon and it was still so rough so I hate to think what it was like outside of the lagoon. But the good news is we've just woken up, the sun's about to crack and it's super windy already. The wind's come up so strong that it's actually blown the waves away and we were pretty satisfied with what we'd scored so far in terms of waves and different spots and all the rest of it. So we thought we might as well try and punch home, get back a little bit earlier because it's a long trip. But about five or ten minutes into the trip, we just, we just realised that there was just no way we were going to successfully make it home without being bruised and battered and being on the ocean for about five or six hours. So we were relatively close to this lagoon that we're in now. We thought we might as well come over and get a nice anchorage and enjoy what else there is on offer here. just woken up it is early on our last day and we're gonna make a run home we're all so satisfied and complete yesterday afternoon was totally out of the ordinary for all of us actually because the wind and waves didn't really turn on like we thought they were going to and it turned out that we actually done stuff that we normally wouldn't do we really enjoyed the lagoon we checked out things that usually aren't present for us on a surf trip because all we're focused on is entirely about getting good waves and you forget about everything else that's going on around you. So yesterday afternoon we were kind of forced to do that and I could honestly say it was probably the best part of the trip. We had an amazing time kiting in this lagoon, then we went and done some fishing and just really enjoyed what's on offer out here. and. To finish a trip that way, you just feel so complete and so satisfied and it was just an amazing experience and I feel very blessed to be able to come and do stuff like this. 